friends, I'm Miss Melanie from the Casey West Columbia branch of the Lexington County Public Library. And I'm so excited to have this opportunity to do a story time with you. Do you like books as much as I do? Oh, I love stories. And I've chosen some stories for us to read today. So I hope you're going to stay with me and have fun. But before I read, I like to get ready to read. And the way I do this is I like to sing a little song. And you probably know the tune, but I'm going to do it once and then you can repeat after me. Okay. So for this song, we make a book. So we put our hands together and we make a book and then we open the book and we close the book. We open the book and we close the book during the song. And you see how gently I do that? That's because that's how we treat books. Books are our friends and we want them to last forever. So we are very gentle with them. So I'm gonna do the song first and then you repeat after me. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your books are my books and my books are your books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. That's right, because we share our books. When you come to the library, you can check out books and re read them and then return them and get more. Okay, now you repeat it with me. Get ready to read. Okay, here we go. Hands together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your books are my books and my books are your books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Excellent. Very, very good. Now, the books that I've chosen today for us to read together, I know you're going to really like them, but they are about a very serious subject. Something that Sometimes we don't like to talk about, but it's important. We need to talk about this. So get ready because we are going to read about underwear. That's right. Underwear. Isn't that funny? I know I'm being kind of silly, but yeah, I chose some books that are all about underwear. But I've got a question for you first. Do you have holes in your underwear? You said no? Well, then how do you get your legs in them? <laughs> Just a little joke. Try that joke on someone that you love. Okay, so our, for our first book, we are going to read Polar Bear's Underwear by Tapera Tapera. Thank you, Tapera Tapera, for giving us permission and also Chronicle Books for giving us permission to read your story. So here we go. Polar Bear, poor Polar Bear, he could not find his underwear. What's the matter? asked his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. Well, what kind of underwear were you wearing today, Polar Bear? I can't remember. Don't worry, Polar Bear. We'll look for it together. Thank you, Mouse. Polar Bear's underwear. <gasps> Polar Bear, look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, this is not my underwear. Well, whose underwear is it? Hmm. I'll give you a little hint. It's an animal that likes stripes. So think about the animals that you know that like stripes. Hmm. Did you think of a <gasps> zebra's underwear? And it's his favorite pair, too. That's not polar bears, though. This pair has treats all over it, and it looks delicious. 
Is this your pair, polar bear? No, it isn't mine, Mouse. Whose underwear is it? Hmm. Let's think of an animal that likes lots of treats. Man, who could that be? An animal that likes lots of treats. Did you guess a pig? No, 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 no. It's pig's underwear. But that's not polar bear's underwear. Here's an itty bitty pair of underwear with flowers. Cute. This pair looks too small for you, polar bear. I agree. But whose underwear is it? I don't know if you can see, but that underwear has little flowers on it. Really blue and red and yellow flowers. Hmm. Who likes flowers? Who could it be? Did you guess that it's butterflies underwear? That's right. This underwear says, I love mice. This must be your pair, polar bear. No, this is not my underwear at all. Well, whose underwear is it? Let's see, who loves mice? Hmm. I don't know, I can think of an animal that loves mice, but not necessarily in a good way. <gasps> Did you guess, oh no, it's cat's underwear? Run! <gasps> Look at those claws he's got. Wow, polka dot underwear with ruffles? This isn't your pair, polar bear, is it? Let's have a look. Hmm. Who would wear a ruffle polka dot? Wiggle, wiggle, it's Squid's underwear and he has 10 legs. That's right, I count 10. Did you count 10? I see 10. This pair of underwear, it has carrots and it's upside down. Is this your pair, polar bear? No way. But whose underwear is it? Hmm. Who likes carrots and might would wear their underwear upside down? <gasps> it's Bunny's underwear! And it looks great on her head. <laughs> hmm. Here is some white underwear. Whose pair could this be? Look closer. Hmm. Oh, I think you figured it out, didn't you? That's right. Polar bear, you are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, I forgot that I put on my new white underwear today. Oops, he had them on all the time, silly bear. I had no idea that I was wearing my underwear all along, Mouse. I'm glad that you found your pair, Polar Bear. Polar Bear's underwear so clean and so white. He loves his pair because it's bright. Polar Bear's underwear so comfy and new. Would you like to wear a pair too? Isn't that an awesome story? Just fun. That's a fun story and you get to be a little silly. Okay, friends, it's time for our second story about underwear. This one's called Veggies with Wedgies. And thank you to Todd Doodler, the author, for allowing us to read it and also to Little Simon Books. Veggies with Wedgies. Every morning, Farmer John hung his family's clothes to dry in the warm sunlight, right above the vegetable garden. Usually there were shirts and pants and some fluffy bath towels. Well, one day, Farmer John was drying something different, and that got the attention of some very curious vegetables. 
What are those? said the pumpkin. I don't know, said the cucumber. They look comfy, said Beet. They look silly to me, said Mushroom. Maybe we should get some, said Asparagus. But we don't even know what they are, cried Onion. What is everyone talking about? asked Corn. Look, said Tomato, up there. We're trying to find out what those are, said Potato. Maybe they're socks, said Pea, for your feet. But socks don't have holes in them, said Broccoli. My socks do, said Asparagus. Maybe they're hats, said Mushroom. They don't look like hats, said Tomato. Why is everyone staring at Farmer John's underwear? asked Carrot. Underwear, said Beet. What's underwear? Does it come from the underwear fairy? asked P. No, said Pumpkin. You trick or treat for underwear. No, 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 said Carrot. Underwear is clothing that people wear under their clothes. Underwear, get it? The veggies thought about this for a while. Can we wear underwear? asked B. But we don't wear clothes, said Tomato. We have nothing to wear our underwear under. The veggies were sad for a moment. I don't see why we couldn't wear them anyway, said Carrot. The vegetables perked up. But where are we going to get underwear? asked Potato. Well, maybe we could just borrow Farmer John's, said Carrot, just to try them. The veggies agreed. This was an excellent idea. So they get, got about getting them down. This took a bit of work. <laughs> Finally, the veggies pulled down the underwear. They were very excited to try them on. Mushroom put the underwear on his head. That's not how you wear it, said Carrot. Beet put the underwear on his arm. That's not right either, said Carrot. Corn put the underwear over his ears. That's not right at all, said Carrot. You put on underwear like this. And he put on the underwear and proudly turned around. Then the veggies each hopped and wiggled their way into a pair. Veggies with underwear. It took a little bit of hopping and a lot of wiggling. Soon the veggies were all wearing underwear and they were all very quiet. Potato spoke first. This is not comfortable, he cried. Not at all, said Beet. I want it off, wailed Tomato. Something is not right, said Carrot. The veggies all had terrible wedgies. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's terrible. I know, said Beet. I think Tomato's underwear would fit me better. And Cord's underwear would fit me better, said Tomato. And Tomato's underwear would fit me best, said Mushroom. And Beet's underwear would fit me best, said Potato. So all the veggies traded underwear. Then they hopped and wiggled their way into different pants. Much better, said Potato. Perfect, said Beet, twirling around. Mine feel just right, said Corn. All better, said Broccoli. Oh, and I could just do a dance, said Pea. And the veggies sang and danced to their new underwear song. Oh, underwear is so fine. I want to wear it all the time. Underwear, it's the best. 
Just find a pair that fits you better than the rest. From that day on, the veggies hopped and wiggled and put on their underwear whenever Farmer John wasn't watching. And the veggies were very happy and mostly didn't have any more wedgies. Except for a few. <laughs> and Farmer John is still looking for his underwear. And that's the end of veggies with wedgies. Wasn't that a great story? Absolutely. Thank you for being such good listeners. I can't wait for our next time to get to share stories together. And so for now, I'll say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye until we meet again. See you next time.